All right, welcome back, guys. This is Ivan from BurningBits.com, and we're finally back after a long, uh, a long wait. Uh, it's been almost a month, even it's been a month since we posted a video. And the reason for that is, as you can see, we moved the uh, studio inside my home office, and uh, that will enable uh, us to actually do more videos faster for you guys. Before I get into this tutorial, I just want to tell you guys that we're going to be making more videos. And the tutorial videos are always going to be uh, the, pr the primary focus uh, of these videos. But we're also going to start doing videos on cool products, uh, like cool Kickstarters, uh, stuff like that. Uh, you know, when we started Bringing Bits, it wasn't just about Arduino stuff. It was about anything that's cool in technology. So you might see uh, videos appearing uh, just to talk about that kind of stuff. So you could uh, check out our, uh, our YouTube channel for that stuff. Also, since the setup we have now is a live switcher and we were looking into doing like a Q&A, like uh, when you guys uh, post questions on YouTube or on our website or in the forum, uh, we might pick a couple of questions and actually do a live show answering your question. And if it's not live, at least it's going to be a video to answer your questions on uh, video instead of just uh, talking to you guys on uh, YouTube comments. So keep the comments coming on the website and YouTube, anywhere you want, on our Twitter also if you want, and we'll make a list of those and actually do a video answering those questions as best as we can. So uh, let's go, uh, let's start with this tutorial we're going to do today. The, what we're going to do today, we're going to use, well actually, has this ever happened to you before? Uh, yeah, this has happened to me before, uh, you know, when I was younger, I always wanted a radio control helicopter like this. Well, you know, and they were expensive and I never, my parents never bought me one. So when I started working, uh, making a little bit of money, I did buy a couple of these guys. Like uh, I got a lot of helicopter, a drone, uh, a plane, uh, and I, I crashed them all. I mean, uh, I, I remember the plane, the first plane I had was a very small plane and we lived in the country at the time and there was one telephone pole just one and you know started flying the plane and directly it went for that pole right in the middle smacked it broke the bits and uh, that was my first experience flying these things so in the spirit of that uh, basically what you can do with these guys now these controllers that come with these uh, these radio control uh, vehicles Basically, they have a lot of range. I mean, uh, most of them will do easily 500 feet and even more than that. And they're pretty cheap also because you can get a, a basic kit for like 40 bucks. That will include the receiver that's inside the, uh, the plane here, uh, the helicopter, plus the controller. Now, you know, you have fun with it, you crash it, then you need to get some parts and you get sick of repairing it. Uh, so basically, instead of throwing it in the trash, we can actually use these guys to, uh, let me switch the camera here, to actually connect an Arduino to the transmitter that's inside the plane here. And we can control everything from a distance and read those values when we move the, uh, the actual sticks. So when we, this is channel one, up down, channel one, channel two this way, channel four, and channel uh, three and four. So we have four channel on this one, but you know, bigger ones may have up to six channel, like switches and stuff like that. And we can all read those information, that information using an Uno, like we have here. So uh, what we're gonna do today, is gonna be really simple. We're actually gonna connect everything, and there's only four wires, because we have one channel, let me switch again. We have one channel, channel one, channel two, and we're gonna power the actual transmitter using the Uno. Uh, ground and five volts. So that's it four wires to connect two channels on this guy and Basically once this is connected, we'll just write a little piece of code It's going to be really simple to actually get those values out and depending on the values we get we can do actions like light LEDs switch on relays or uh, anything you might think of uh, so but you can do it for a really long distance 
and goes through walls and everything. So Bluetooth Wi-Fi will not compete with the range of this stuff. So it's a cool little project. Most of us have these guys lying around that's just collecting dust. Uh, so basically let's uh, find a use for them and uh, do a little project with a, with a Uno. So we're gonna cut here, we're gonna look at the code. And the code is very simple today. We're just gonna see how to read the values from the, because uh, these are PWM's values that the transmitter is, um, is sending. And they change depending on what we're doing here. So let's cut here, let's go look at the code. And since we have a switcher now, we're gonna be able to do picture in picture and you'll see everything working together uh, at the same time. So uh, let's go check that out. All right, so here we are in the code. And as you can see, we have a picture in picture now that you'll see what's happening on the Uno and we have the transmitter that is connected to it also. Um, maybe we didn't talk about this before, but this is the power that comes from the, um, the transmitter. So we're just connecting this to five volt and ground and each channel, this, the signal pin, which most of the time is the one if you're looking forward to the left on the receiver, because there's three pins for each, uh, because these are servos most of the time that are connected to this. Uh, so the first one, I believe most of the time is ground, the middle one is power and the third one is signal. Uh, we'll put a picture up uh, on our website uh, with the different connectors so you can tell which one is which. Uh, so basically one wire goes to uh, pin 8 and pin 9 from the signal wire of each channel, as you can see. So here's the code that we're going to use today to actually accomplish this. It's very simple. Uh, so we're defining RC pin 1 is connected to pin 8 on the UNO, which can respond to uh, channel 1 on the transmitter and RC pin 2 is connected to pin 9. Uh, two variables here to hold the PWM values of each channel, so channel 1, channel 2. And basic setup, we have two pins as inputs, and we start the uh, serial monitor at 9600 baud. Now, the main loop here, we're reading the length of the signal from the transmitter in microseconds. So channel 1, and we're going to use this function here called pulse in, so pulse in, all it does is that it reads, let's say this is pin 8 on the UNO right here. So it reads that when it goes high, it starts a timer in microsecond. And when it changes state, let's say it goes to low, uh, then it will return that value inside our variable here. Uh, the 20,000 at the end is a timeout value. Uh, so basically if uh, it goes high and never goes low in 20,000, then it would reset it wouldn't put the value in channel one, it would just uh, keep going. Uh, same thing for the second one here that we're doing in channel two. And then we're just serial printing the values, channel one, channel one, channel two, channel two, and a little delay of 500 milliseconds. Now this part here at the end, this is an escape command. So we do serial write. Um, this is a clear screen command, another serial write, and we put the cursor home. Now, this portion here will not work in the Arduino IDE serial monitor because the serial monitor uh, of the Arduino IDE is not really built for that. It's more for debugging and stuff like that. So what we're gonna use instead, we're gonna use PuTTY that is right here, and that will enable us to actually watch those values without having them scroll up so fast that you know it's hard to see what's happening. So by using PuTTY, and these four lines here, we're actually gonna be able to see those values a lot easier. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna connect the Uno. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Now, as you can see, the light on the, uh, the transmitter is, uh, is lit. And now it's flashing and I'm gonna turn on the transmitter. And there we go, transmitter is on. And we're gonna upload that code right now. Wait until it flashes, there we go. And it's ready. So now we're gonna open PuTTY to see our values. So let me open PuTTY, let me put it here so you guys can see it better. And in PuTTY, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna say, well, we wanna monitor the serial monitor and the COM is COM3 for the UNO that's connected right now. And you can see that at the bottom right here. So 
COM3 and the speed's got to match. So we said 9,600 baud's in our code. So 9,600 here, and we're gonna open. And there's Putty, and there we go. Well, it's jumping a little bit here. Let me just put this guy here. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's putting values, waiting 500 milliseconds, and then clearing the screen and putting the cursor back to the top. So that way we can monitor the, uh, the values a lot easier. So as you can see, we have channel one and channel two right now. I'm not touching any of the sticks on the, uh, the receiver, uh, the transmitter, sorry. I think I kept calling transmitter and then receiver backwards. I'm sorry if I did that. Uh, basically the transmitter is the one you hold in your hand and the receiver is the one that's in the plane or the helicopter or whatever. So on the transmitter, I'm gonna move one of the sticks up, which corresponds to channel one and channel two. I think channel one is up and down on this one. So pushing up, uh, okay, so that's channel two. Uh, so I'm all the way up and the value right now is 1079. Yeah, pretty, pretty stable. I'm gonna bring it back to the middle, 1500, push it all the way down. And now I'm up to 1935.30. Release that one. And let me do left and right now on the same stick, which is on the right. So let's go. 1050. Turn, get back. Turn it again. 1927. So there you go. And if I go slowly up on the channel 2, you'll see. You can see those values starting to, bring, to go down. Slowly, slowly, slowly all the way up and all the way up now and the same thing on the other side uh, so basically it, it's acting like a potentiometer and basically now that you have those values you see what all the way up is all the way down is left and right then you can do actions and actually uh, enter code into the uno to do a lot of stuff actually so there you go so that's the way this works so now we're going to cut back to the main camera, which is this one right here. All right, so there you go, guys. That's, uh, that's, going, to be, that's going to be the end of this tutorial today. Um, it was fairly simple, but we went through the basic on how to read the values from um, an RC receiver, because this is a transmitter. <laughs> so with those values, then you can do whatever you want. But in the next tutorials that's going to be coming next week, because we're going to start doing more tutorials faster now. Uh, I'm going to show you how we actually use this concept to actually build our little cameras here that we can move up and down and zoom in also. So this is very practical for us because we can control, I can control actually two cameras using two different controllers like this. Uh, so that enables me to do videos a lot faster without waiting for a crew to come in and actually control all these cameras. So that's going to be the next tutorial coming next week. So if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do. That way you'll get notified when we post new ones. And also in the future, we're going to be posting different videos, not only tutorials. We're going to post uh, videos on cool stuff, cool products. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those. And um, in the meantime, I hope you guys... Check out our website, BernieBus.com. If you want to build any of this stuff, we do sell the parts. And uh, I encourage you to go check that out. So until next time, guys, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.